Hi, welcome to my first video lesson about passing the FE exam. We're going to do a little math today and we're going to start with uh, finding the determinant of a matrix. So we're going to start simple. We're going to do a 2x2 two two matrix. And this is pretty straightforward. So let's begin here with one. Might come to your mind. Keep it simple. One, two, and then on the second column we'll go three, four, on the second row that is, not column. So, t to calculate the determinant of a simple uh, two by two, we can start by drawing some diagonal lines, like that. So, if you just follow these lines, you can say four times one, as you can see, and then, we're going to go the other way. Since you're going backwards, we're going to subtract these. So 2 times 3. And this is a pretty simple calculation. I could step, skip a step, but I'll just carry it through just so you can see. And we'll equal 4 minus 6. And that will bring us to a final answer of negative 2. So as you can see, that's pretty straightforward. We'll do first row three, six, and we'll do two and four on the bottom row. Well, again, let's draw our diagonal lines. Go three times four minus two times six. And we can just say that equals 12 minus 12. Well, the answer to that one should be pretty obvious. The determinant of that matrix is 0. So 2 by 2 is very simple. Let's do a 3 by 3. Let's say we have in the top row 1, 2, and 3. The next row we have 0, negative 4, and 1. And then the bottom row will have 0, 3, and negative 1. And call that a matrix. Now to find the determinant of that, we'll just copy these first two columns again over here. So we'll 1, 0, 0, and 2, negative 4 and 3. So let's take our lines and go diagonally through. And you can do the same going the other direction. This looks like it's going to be a lot of work, but in this case it probably won't be. So we'll start with 1 times negative 4 times negative 1 plus 2 times 1 times 0 plus 3 times 0 times 3. Now we're going to start going the other way, so we'll go minus 0 times negative 4 times 3 minus 3 times 1 times 1 and finally minus negative 1 0 2 now you can see there's several parts here that have 0 so we'll just get rid of all of those and we'll call this negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 equals 4 and negative 3 times 1 times 1 equals 3, leaving us with 4 minus 3, which equals 1. So you can see in this example it was fairly straightforward as well. So that's how you calculate the determinant of a matrix. And uh, if you go to my website, we'll have some more examples that you can work. Thank you.